Uh, Friends of the Koala is an entirely voluntary group. We're licensed to rehabilitate koalas across uh, the northern rivers and we encompass actually uh, six local government areas. Friends of the Koala, uh, we're actually celebrating our 20th anniversary of being a licensed wildlife rehabilitation group this year. We started off though in 1986 as a habitat group. Uh, that was in response to the loss of mature koala habitat here in urban Lismore. Landscape connectivity is essential to the koala survival. It's essential because uh, koalas need to be able to move in response to um, climate change, but it's essential too to ensure the genetic robustness of our koala populations. Without that, they, uh, they fall apart very quickly and are prone to these diseases. Uh, the, the koala is a very uh, is an animal that is prone to stress, and uh, we believe that there is some uh, relationship between habitat fragmentation and disease. The number of koalas coming into care is increasing each year. Uh, in the last couple of years, it's gone from, or the number has gone from about 250 to over 300 this, uh, in this past reporting year. We actually get sightings uh, because we ask people to re uh, report their sightings. I think all up in this year that's just gone, we had 648 koalas reported to us. And that includes, of course, the 309 that actually came into care. What I have to say, though, is that the jury is still out as to whether koalas will survive east of the Great Divide. And that is the real challenge for all of us. The work that Friends of the Koala does and the work that I do in Friends of the Koala is important because our wildlife is so much part of what Australia is. I think that if all of us, every person in Australia, just did one thing that they felt comfortable in doing to assist our wildlife, we would have all of our animals with us for future generations.